Hello friends. So tonight we're going to do is make a quick video on memoization in JavaScript. Now this can be a kind of confusing subject for people. Um, it, there's really not much to it though. People like to make uh, make things sound more difficult than they actually are, but if you understand the underlying principle about it and if you're taught it in such a way to where it's easy to understand and you see the use case for it, then it's a lot there's a lot more utility in that, I find. So what is memoization? Uh, people might get it confused with memorization, but uh, memoization, it sounds like a baby's trying to say memorization. Memoization. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, so memoization is basically caching return values of a function based on specific parameters. Well, why would you want to do that? That sounds just like a word salad. doesn't really seem to, it says, it's a lot of words without saying anything really. So the idea is that you have a function that maybe takes a long time to run, but it might run the same output several times, so you'll want to cache those outputs so you can get beyond running it based on the parameters. Let's take a look at an example. So let's take a very easy example that will illustrate the utility in learning this. So let's say we have a function called multiply mult by 2. And this function is going to take in a parameter called num. And so what we want to do here is we just want to return the number multiplied by 2. That's what the function does. However, let's console log right here, long wait time, to uh, signify that, that this is how a function would work if the function takes a long time to actually, to actually come from being invoked to outputting a return value, there might be a long wait time in there. So we're just going to console log long wait time. And we're going to try to get around the long wait time, basically. So we don't want the long wait time, is what I'm saying. So here, if we run this like normally, we'll just go console.log, whoops, CLG, uh, mult by two, and we'll just return two times two is four. So if we run that in node, node main.js, you see that we get a long wait time, and then finally it outputs four. So how can we get around this long wait time? Well, let's say that we were doing that same calculation again down the line. But in between, we had like we were going to console log uh, it with three right here, and then here we were going to do it with four. So basically, every time we run mul multiply by two with two as an argument, we already have the answer. We know that it's four. So if we can have a caching system, we can get around that long wait time right here if we just cache out this value here. So when it runs again here, and then again here on line 13, and then again here on line 14, we should theoretically be able to get around this console log long wait time, which is what we want to do. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. So you see how on this, every time you're getting a long wait time before the output. We want to try to get around that. So let's erase these, and let's make ourselves some room to work. So here we'll make another function, function, and this one's called uh, memoize uh, mult by Two. So we want to actually memoize this function right here. So the way that you do it is you're going to make a cache, which should just be a ob uh, JavaScript object. That's a good way to do it. So we can go const cache right here equals an empty object. Then what you want to do is actually return a function with the parameter in that function. So we'll actually return an anonymous function. So return function. And this is where the parameter will go of num. It'll go here. And then what we want to do is check. So we'll go if uh, num in cache. So what num in cache does is it checks to see if this argument is present as a key in this cache. If it is, we just want to return cache at num. This will give us the value of the num key in the object. That's how you access that. Else, what we want to do is we want to cache it. So we'll go cache at num is going to be equal to num times 2. This is where we'll do our initial calculation. Then we'll console log long wait time. And then we'll return cache at num. Right? So basically, each time that a new argument is entered here, each time that there's a new argument, we're going to hit this long wait time because we're going to be caching the output. However, if we run that same output again, we'll get around the long wait time because it'll just already be in cache right here. And you know that you have access to this cache on line 10 
within the function body right here of this return function because of closure, which I made a video on the other day. So you know that this function body right here, it has access to variables that lie outside of its scope uh, going, toward the glo going toward the global scope because of closure. So even if we put cache out here, it would still have access to it, but cache being out there is fairly useless to us. So just know that the return function has access to the uh, cache object. So now let's let's do it like this. Let's console log. Well, first we have to do. Okay, here's another thing I forgot to tell y'all. So basically, since we're uh, millwise mult by two, it's going to return a function right here, right? So how do we get access to this function? Are we going to do like some function currying to where we can we go uh, maybe uh, memoize uh, mem oize mult by two, and then we invoke it again and we put the number in here. Technically, you, you could do that, but that's not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is just to make a variable. So we'll go const memoize is going to equal memoize mult by 2 invoked. So if we console.log memoize right now, you're going to see that it's just going to return that dormant function that hasn't been invoked yet. So what we want to do to invoke it is we want to pass in a number right here. So let's pass in two right here. And again, the first time that we run it, we're going to get the long wait time. So if we run it, we'll get long wait time and then four. But here's the thing. If we run it again, we will get around that long wait time and it will just, it'll just return the four. So you can see the initial time it returns long wait time. Just like up here, it caches the number, then it returns long wait time, signifying the long wait time that it takes for the function to run. Then it returns the output from the cache. Other, if the cache is being read, then the only thing that's happening now is that we're returning the cache. So we're getting around all of this work right here. So we're making our function a lot more performant. So if we have, let's do a bunch of these. So if we do this, 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 and this. If we had three right here, oops. If we had three right here, four right here, two right here and three right here, or four right there, how many of these would would get the long wait time? Well, really, it would only be one, two, three things that are getting a long wait time. The rest of them will get around that. So if you see right here, we get long wait time by four. Now four is cached, so it's just going to return four. Long wait time, caching six. So now anytime six is ran again, it, or I'm sorry, anytime three is ran again, it's going to return. Long wait time for four times two is eight. So four, anytime four is again, it's going to go in there. It's going to be cache right here. So that's the utility in, in learning memoization. Basically, anytime that you can cache out your outputs based on the parameter, you can make your function more performant. Now you're going to have to remember that you're going to be returning a function here. So you'll have to set it up in a variable like this. const memoize equals memoize multiply two invoked equals this function. Then you can run this function with the argument there. Uh, rather than just returning a function like this, which is always going to get the long wait time and be not that performant. So that's memoization in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped. Take it sleazy.